Right now, protesters in New Haven are gathered and making their voices heard right in front of the police department. And Marcy Jones is there live now following the very latest. Marcy, what are you seeing and hearing? Good morning. Well, just minutes ago, we saw the third person who got arrested overnight during the protest uh, just reunited with, I would say there's about two dozen protesters still left out here. Now, let me walk you through how we got to this place this morning. So last night, they went from the green to the university uh, president's home on Hill House Avenue out there. They were chanting, and then there were about three arrests made. Now, that that is coming from the protesters. We have yet to get a confirmed number of arrests from Yale PD. We are still waiting on that. I also want to mention that this is coming off of the heels of the House Committee inviting several presidents of universities and colleges to testify in a May 23rd hearing titled Calling for Accountability, Stopping Anti-Semitic College Chaos. Now, Chairwoman Virginia Fox of the committee did not mince words when the invitation was extended to administrators of Yale, UCLA, and Michigan University. In fact, she said, quote, the committee has a clear message for mealy-mouthed, spineless college leaders. Congress will not tolerate your dereliction of your duty to your Jewish students. No stone must go unturned while buildings are being defaced, campus greens are being captured, or graduations are being ruined. Uh, these protesters really have not been doing any kind of unified chance or calling for action. They have, however, for the last several weeks, while they've had their encampments at the university, um, been listing their demands, which include a ceasefire, severing ties with companies that manufacture weapons, and full financial transparency. Now, just, uh, I would say, 15 minutes ago, I was speaking with one of the protesters here, and I asked, why did the group vote not to meet with the Yale uh, corporate trustees who offered and extended an invitation to sit down with them and give a little bit more information about their investments. And she said that they're not looking for a discussion. They just want their demands made. So they're kind of at a standoff right now. And um, unfortunately, it looks like there's not going to be any resolution in sight. As soon as we get any more information confirmed from Yale PD, we'll bring that to you. But for now, uh, we're going to send it back to you guys.